Welcome to SAS Online Training by Aditya. In this video, I'm going to explain what are all the interview questions uh, asking by the different persons in uh, real life uh, and how you need to face that questions uh, and what will be your answer and what are all those things you need to speak in the interview and what are all not to speak in the interview. I'm going to discuss you in uh, throughout all videos. Just be subscribed and stay tuned. A brief introduction about myself. Hi, this is Aditya, a principal statistical programmer. So I'm working in one of the MNC in India and it's I do have nine years of experience in SAS programming. And I completed base and advanced certified person and I do have uh, enough knowledge on SAS. I'm a successful SAS programmer right now. So I'm just managing my job. Okay, so in this video, I just uh, created as a, a, a interview panel setup like this. Uh, so the left side person is interviewer and uh, the right side one is yours. That means interview. The question is, what are all roles and responsibilities in current organization? Okay, you just question yourself, uh, what will be your answer? So this is very common and regular question. And apart from that, it's a very first question they'll ask you. So in that case, first of all, you need to tell what is your current role? Suppose imagine you are a, a programmer. So then you say your answer would be I'm a programmer. So I can say it's I'm a team member. So including with me around four or five members, they're working as a SAS programmer. So as per the day to day life, we will get some data from the client in the form of raw data sets. The raw data sets we will try to convert into SDTM. So SDTM to Adam. So Adam to tables, listings and a figures generation. Imagine your experience is lower than three years. Don't say that you have an experience on data sets. Stick to TLFs only tables, listings and figures. So table listing and figure. So that means you do have an experience on creating a table, a listing and figure. And apart from that, uh, so once the data got it, uh, so as per the team lead, uh, that means you are a team member, right? So other person will be working as a team lead. Uh, so you'll assign a work to you, all the four members in your batch. Uh, so that based on that work, uh, what are all the tables is assigned to you? And then you will start working to create the table or else uh, maybe that listing or else maybe that figure. As per uh, three years of experience, don't keep uh, uh, data sets like I do have experience in SDTMs, I do have experience in Adams. Don't say that because in India up to three years, you no need to specify anything about uh, any more things. You just stick to the tables, listings and figures only. That's enough. Okay, so this is what the job is. So uh, we will get the raw data, data sets converted into SDTM, SDTM to Adam, Adam into TLF. My, rob, my job responsibility is working only on creating a TLFs. The answer should be that way. Right? Good. So, and what else you do as a SAS programmer? What are all the tables so you create if they ask the question? So you can say that I created demographic tables, I created concomitant medication tables, I created AE tables and I created lab tables and I created on uh, uh, listings also you can say. I, if you have some exposure on figures, you say figures until that it is not mandatory that uh, you should have to tell about the figures. That's all up to you how you speak. Okay, you no need to worry about the figures because just tell about you have experience and good experience on tables and creating a listings. So that's enough as a three years of experienced guy in India or else if you are putting uh, around five to six years of experience in uh, US, you can say the same thing. Right. So this is your roles and responsibilities in your organization as a SAS programmer. 
guys if you like my answer please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or comments or if you face some question in interview just write a comment below so this to this video i will give an answer to you or else i will put that question into the discussion and i will discuss with you as a video so that will work if you like my video please thumbs up and be subscribe for more videos thank you